Hey guys, this is Zavi from DMC. Now in this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can add an extra fill on your contact form 7 to receive the contact numbers from your customer so that when the customer is making an inquiry on your WordPress website, you'll be able to capture not only just their name, not only just their email, but right now, you'll be able to collect their contact numbers as well. So let's go into our step-by-step -step sharing. If you can see from the screen, this is the very basic um, default of the Contact Form 7 on your WordPress website, right? So uh, what will happen is that right now you can only receive information like the name, the email, the subject, and also the message. However, for those of you, if you are thinking of like, hey, Zavin, I would like to receive the contact number of my customer, right? Of my clients, of the inquiry online, how do I receive and how do I add on another field to collect the information of the contact number, right? So for example, you'll be able to see that some of the contact form, it will look like this. You will have the name and you will have the field to collect the contact number and email and subject and the message, right? So this is how you do, right? First of all, you need to make sure that uh, you have installed your uh, Contact Form 7 plugins and activated it, okay? Currently, I'm using Contact Form 7 as a demo in this video. And at the same time, right, just to take notes right here that your Contact Form design might look a little bit different as compared to mine. Reason behind is that I'm currently using a different team different WordPress team as compared to yours, right? So, um, however, this video, we are not going to focus on the design of the form. We will be just focusing on how you can actually add on another field of um, your contact number, okay, to your WordPress, yeah, to your WordPress contact form. Now, once again, yep, if you can see right here, if you have activated your contact form 7 plugin, you will be able to see these settings on the left, right? So this is how it's going to look like inside the form setting, okay? Uh, where you'll be able to see that's pretty much that this is the default version, having the name, email, subject, and also the message, right? So this is how it's going to look like, right? The name, email, and also subject, yeah? But if you would like to add in a contact number right after the name, or before the email sections, how do you do this, right? So usually I will recommend you guys um, to decide on the location first. So if I want to do it after the name, I will just make an enter right here, a spacing right here after the section, okay? Right after that, I will actually just come here and copy and paste the section, okay? I'm just going to duplicate these whole sections right here. Right after this, I'm just going to change the name and also change the fill. Yep. So instead of your name, uh, currently I'm going to put it as your contact number. And then this is the main part, okay? The short codes over right here that is stated inside the you know the upper brackets. This is the part that we are going to change. How do we change this? If you can see, there's a lot of like blue button right here. All right. And then we'll be able to see like, uh, you know, you can add in your text, which is the name that you have. You can add in your email, URL of the website, telephone, number, dates, and so on, right? So over right here, um, we are going to go and focus on only the telephone number, which is the contact number, right? So just click on this, yep. And over right here, B, if you want it to be a required field or not, okay? If this is required, you just need to check on here. And for the name, these names right here, uh, is not going to display on any parts of the website. It's more towards to the setting inside your website, yeah? The settings, um, you know, with your contact form 7. So regardless of the name, if you feel like you're using it, go ahead. But usually I just like to make it a very simple naming right here. And that's it, okay? So right after I change, right, if you observe earlier, the short codes right here is showing something different. So if I put it like 7856, 
and I click on any places like outside the box, right? You see this? The name will change, okay? If I change it to Zevin and I click, the name will change right here. So what I will do is that usually I'll make sure that after I edit and I'll just click on the you know the white space be beside the fill to ensure that this short code reflected what I'm showing so right here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and then close this and here. Easy, just paste. So if you observe right here, this is on text. If email, it starts from email. TLs right here. Okay, so these little, uh, you know, small icon that showing right here, it just tells you that it's a required fail. So that's it. Right after you're done, you can just go and save. And here, right now, I'm just going to, you know, go and visit my sites right now. And <laughs> I'm just going to update my page first. All right. Okay, then I'm going to check out my page. That's it. I'll be able to have my name and my contact number and my email. Okay, so very fast, very easy. That's where you can have your contact form. However, um, we are not yet, you know, finished setting up our page. Okay, because currently you are just having this contact number as a fill yep, to display right here. Okay, users will be able to fill up and submit to you. However, when the user submitted all the information to you, you might not be able to receive. How do you ensure? Okay, so you just need to come back to your contact form 7 and we are going to go under the mail tab. Yep. So inside this mail tab, you will see these settings right here. Whenever you see there's a difference in terms of the color, it means that something is wrong. Okay, we have uh you know the light lighter gray color versus the black color right here. So light gray it tells you that everything is all good, everything is perfect, everything is good to go. Okay, however, if you see something that is in uh you know black color, it tells you that hmm something is wrong right here. Some setting is not right, and you won't be able to receive the information right here. Yeah, so if we scroll down and you can see this message uh, body, this section, you are missing out to collect the information right here. So having to say that, even the users come here and they really put in all the information, um, included the contact number, after they click on submit, you won't be able to receive it, okay? Because it's missing in the settings right here. So what you need to do right here is to add it this contact information to your message body. So I'm just going to put like, for example, contact number. And I'm just going to copy this whole thing right here and place it right there. So what it means over here is that when the users come to the website and they enter the contact numbers right here, let's say the contact number is 018999555. I mean, 6666, six, 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 okay? So then whatever the users entered, when you receive the email notification, that number will be shown in your email. Okay, if you are not putting these uh, uh, settings right here, what happened? The information is missing. Even the user submitted, however, you won't be able to receive it. Okay, so this is the part that you need to think of. Yeah? After you put contact, just ensure that now, right after we click on save changes, observe from this color, the light gray, you should turn it, you know, uh, the black color over right here, you should turn it to light gray. So let's go. Ta -da -da -da. If you see this, okay, you can see that the color straight away, the color, it will change and it will just shown as light gray. So right now, everything is all good. Your form setting is good. Your website is good. And one last step, my advice to you is that before you start using this form, make sure that you yourself go ahead and fill in all the fields. Your name, your email, your contact number, subject, message, body, everything. Make a submissions to yourself. Okay, and double check in your email notification if you have received all the information from that. Yep, if all good, then you are good to go. You can now uh, right away, you know, share your contact form to on your Facebook, Instagram, or perhaps you can start to, to run your marketing campaigns. All right. So that's all in this video that I would like to share with you how you can have a contact um, number feel, um, you know, inserted in your contact form 7 on your WordPress website. 
And uh, if you like our video, remember to help us like and share. And the most important thing, if you successfully created your contact field with the contact numbers, remember to leave a comment below and let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below. Help us like and share. If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video.